guys, welcome to another video here on my channel. On um, this is Daisy. I am super excited for today's video because I finally was able to get some goodies. This is going to be a makeup haul. I hope you guys are down with this video. Don't forget at the end to please give it your biggest thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you won't miss out on my videos. You will receive notifications on my acting bits, beauty tricks, fashion tips, lifestyle hits. So with no further ado, let's see some of the goodies that I have purchased. I am so excited! I ended up getting the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Eyeshadow Palette. This is gorgeous. The packaging on this is super chic. It looks really rich and luxurious. And the first thing I thought I was like, oh my God, no matter how Hard. I try and keep this clean somehow it's gonna get so dirty so I have to admire it now while I still can <laughs> you can go from like neutral daytime to a sultry beautiful pow in your face type of look for the nighttime it's really versatile and so she she <laughs> getting the urban decay looking through the glass limited edition palette I saw this a couple times and I was hesitant to get it but I was like, man, these colors just keep jumping. It's, I mean, how can Daisy not get something so whimsical and so fun and so playful and so kid-like like this, right? It says, I'm not strange, weird, off, nor crazy. My reality is just different from yours, which is true for all of us, right? You have a lot of cooler as well as warm tone. This has more of a whimsical, maybe quirky type of personality. And then I'm purchasing the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation. It's really light, water-based. If you guys want to see a review on this, leave your comments below. Now, I ended up purchasing another foundation. This one is by Makeup Forever. I was intrigued about this because it's ultra HD. Because since I'm an actor, I want to see how this really works on camera. Can't wait to wear you, my sweet darling, and see how beautiful you make me look. Next on my list, the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, and I tried it and it made a world of a difference and it really brightened and it really set my concealer. Yeah, I'm so excited about this powder. I love this. I've been obsessed with this. I've been using this for the last maybe two years, give or take. Every summer, this gives me like the perfect tap by Tarte and just makes me look so sexy. If you guys are interested in seeing how I apply and do my tanning routine, go ahead and leave it on my description box. I ended up purchasing two falsies and they're both by Huda Beauty. And this is the Samantha and these are just beautiful. This is more, I'm going out with some glamorous friends for the night. The other one that I got is Farrah and it's the Faux Minx. And again, they're super soft. A little bit dramatic but perfect for the nighttime but they're not overwhelming let me tell you that I was there probably just in front of the urban decay stand for like an hour trying to narrow it down to just one just one little <laughs> I mean can I get a round of applause for even getting it down to one <sighs> you look at the packaging it is so cool so fashion forward and it's like this makes you want to whip out your lipstick in the middle of like some nice restaurant and just reapply in between your meals because it just looks so pretty. <laughs> I ended up getting studded. The color is like a, a cooler side of like a bronzy hope type of a metallic finish. It is by Kat Von D and this is their matte liquid lipsticks and I actually really like their formula. I'm very hesitant on matte liquid lipsticks because I don't really like that super drying, cakey feel. It's I'm very particular with liquid lipstick. Bow and arrow, it's beautiful. It's a nude color. It's that nude where it's like almost your lip color but better and it just makes your pout look so sexy, so defined, so pouty. It's just so gorgeous. A lot of you cannot get palettes and makeup all the time and I feel you and I am the same way. So because of that, I want to start trying to implement another day during the week where there will be no editing, just straight up simple, beautiful makeup where I will take one palette for that month and show you how many different looks you can get out of that one palette. This is something that interests you then please give my video your thumbs up or leave me your comments feel free to hit me up i will see you on my next video yeah.